Is the shark good enough to stand the full team? Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we have Siege and we have a G2 Siege, so we are facing some interesting defenses. And against those interesting defenses, I'm trying to use interesting and, you know, fast and easy offenses. So yeah, let's go for the first one. We are running, you know, a full strip that doesn't require RNG. Now a full death rig that does require RNG and failed against one of those units. And the pushbacks that didn't happen on every unit. That is really bad because I needed to push back that Lema and... You know, I wanted to actually reset her, but I couldn't do neither of those. So yeah, now we failed the strip on her as well. So yeah, this is getting more complicated than expected. But once we get rid of that little mage here, we can finish her off quite easily, guys. And we got this win. We got a win in the first one. Now for the second one, I'm running one of my favorite comps and I will be running three of these in this video, guys. So yeah, for this one, we are running, in order to counter an LD at 5, we're going to outspeed with our LD at 4s and we are going to cleave them with Lucian. If they are tanky enough to resist my fat Lucian, then they win. If they don't, they lose and they lost. Guys, we're facing the mandatory Ciara Orion plus fire threat of this siege. So yeah, that's on every siege because, you know, that's a very random defense that with enough procs can actually win against almost anything, I, I think. So yeah, we're going to use the comp that almost never loses against it. And, you know, guys, I don't need to tell you much, but I will tell you how we could lose. We could lo lose if... Orion actually strips my Lulu, defense rates my Lulu, then Ciara applies the bomb, blows up the bomb, procs, and reduces the HP of my Lulu again with her proc, and then gets to take another turn, or maybe the Perna decides to actually focus the Lulu, cause Lulu is on very low HP, and my Lulu doesn't proc out of the stun. That's the condition for this defense to lose. So yeah, it could happen. And sadly, guys, it has happened to me before. So yeah, it didn't happen this time around. And once more, we're going to run the same comp. Now we are replacing the Diva for Dova. I think it's Dova, right? Yeah, Dova. We are replacing Dova for my Tion. And of course, I gave my Tion my fastest runes because, you know, I have the Tion unruned in order to transfer the runes from my fastest booster to him so that I can use this comp whenever I want in a fast way. So yeah, now we are taking out the Odin with the third skill cause yeah, he was on very low HP and unless that Tessarion procs a million times, we should be fine guys. And we were fine, easy peasy. And one more time we're running the same, but this time around we're trading the light color for the water ones. So yeah, we are trading white for blue. And my Konamiya has the same runes that my Tion had in the previous match. So we are going to outspeed. If things go well, of course we should. We have the very speed lead and we have crazy runes for that. And we are going to destroy them. And now we have a water unit that is still alive, thankfully. So we can kill the Kamun. And now we can get rid of that thing. Easy peasy, guys. Moving on to the next one, and for this one we're running my favorite offense, the one that I take against every tanky team that has some sort of buffs or that doesn't have a huge threat. And this is the case for this defense, which I, I saw a lot in this siege. And guys, there are many ways we can lose this one. Maybe if, if the Tessarian pros maybe three times and gets to actually defense rake my skull and proc a few times in order to kill it. That could happen, but luckily guys, spoiler alert, it will not happen this time.
and Lucian number four, guys, Lucian number four. Yeah, you know, I built this Lucian recently in order to use this comb with him because he can make use of the crit rate leader of Charlotte. So now we are going to boost because we have sped. Now we are going to deal damage and boost again. And luckily we are hoping to kill something. And we did, of course, we needed to kill Praha and we actually needed to kill Kaki as well. And I knew that we could kill Kaki if we landed a crit on him, which we did. So yeah, we won that one. And for this one, guys, we're running a very special comp. I'm trying to knock out that, that Odin on turn one with my Ken. He will not be able to revive thanks to my demon. And then I'm praying for my demon to be able to tank the Tessarion enough for in order to give me time to kill it with my can. Guys, that's hopeful and wishful thinking, but things will not go as planned, of course. Even though we got the attack buff, which, which was great from, from Draco, so yeah. But now I'm trying to kill the Desarion, which is the main threat, and that may not have been the best choice, yeah. Now, of course, the Sarion proking three times was not a good thing, and us failing the defense rate was not great either. So, yeah, you know, RNG happens, guys. RNG happens, and sometimes you can't do anything about it. There you go, defense rake on my demon, the passive is out, even though we don't care too much. But, yeah, let's go to the, the, the most damage possible and the violent procs of course happened and that crit from the bastard was crazy on my can so yeah guys it happens it happens now my can is on very low health he can't do much to that thing and of course my draco will never be able to kill a bastard and of course we didn't land the defense rate so yeah those things happen guys so that bastard will end up killing my draco so we lost this one, guys. But I will get a rematch, and this time around I'm going for a very tanky team that has revives, that the reviver will actually revive himself, even after being killed by the Odin. So yeah, we're trying to actually, you know, have immunity up most of the time and kill them one by one with my Arnold, of course. So here we're trying to reduce the attack and that went perfectly fine on every single unit. Now I gave the revive in case that Odin actually killed my Wusa, which didn't happen, luckily. Now he got stunned and there goes the first life. Great damage from my, from my Tyrannis since that Odin is on full damage. So he has very low HP which is great for us, now we can actually finish him off and now we can start working on Tessarion, of course my Tyranny seems to be almost dead but the shield from Wusa was fantastic and my, my Tyranny has very high defense so yeah, he could survive and my Wusa proking like a champ so yeah, great, now we can use the first kill of my Arnold on that thing and now we can move on to Finish him to Sarion off with my attacks, little by little, we won this one, guys. And we are running to Char here, guys, that's the Char's debut, and I'm pairing him up with an attack booster that can actually strip. So yeah, I have a booster, we have a strip, we have attack buff, and we have a unit that will stun the full enemy team. So let's go, come on. We gone strip, we stripped. So Tashar, it's time to do your thing. Is Tashar good enough to stun the full team? Of course he is. Tashar is amazing, guys. That's a fantastic unit. That's a fantastic unit to use alongside a Jogun. And of course, I really like this kind of team. So yeah, I sort of fell in love with this team. And I'm going for Usa, and I really have to give decent runes to my Jogun, guys. I actually didn't even max the artifacts on him. So I, I threw some runes on him, and that's it. I only made sure that he's faster than the Shar, and that's it. So if I gave Jogun better runes, I think this team could, could run quite better because, you know, that panda will have gotten 
more damage from the recoil of his attack. So yeah, this worked quite well, guys. Of course, it's all up to stripping with Jogun as well. But remember that we have the strip from the second kill of the shard, if I remember correctly, that also acts as a strip. So that's a bag of strip in case that one of the three units resist the strip from Jogun. So yeah. We won that one on the Shards debut, guys, but we lost the fight, we got second place, it wasn't too far, but it wasn't too close either. Congrats to Ari and MT for being the, both the MVPs, and there we go, that's my trophy box, guys. Thank you very much for watching this, and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.